Carvana's stock is soaring as the company announced earnings and made a few other major changes that has the stock market bullish on Carvana stock. In this video, I'm going to cover just one of the changes that Carvana updated investors with, and that was the debt agreement refinancing. So let's dig into the details in this brief video here. So today, uh, there was an agreement to eliminate 83% of Carvana's 20, 2025 and 2027 unsecured note maturities, which will lower its required cash interest expense by over $400 million per year for the next two years. And the agreement will reduce Carvana's total debt outstanding by over $1.2 billion. So let me dig into the details of this. What this means is, so Carvana had debt that was coming due in the year 2025 and in the year 2027. This was debt that they were going to have to pay back the principal of the debt. And, I, uh, and I'll show you exactly how much those uh, agreements were for. What this does is that that just kicks the can down the road, right? They refinanced. They said, we would prefer to pay this back later when our financial condition is better because right now Carvana's balance sheet is not in good shape. That's why they're making moves like this to improve the condition of the balance sheet. And this was a major step forward to be sure, right? Gaining flexibility is a major step forward and that's what this, this move was. Let me show you the debt on the balance sheet. So this is just their um, unsecured senior debt. And they've got a little more debt than this, but this is the bulk of their um, unsecured debt. And here's the two that they refinanced today up top here, the 2025 and 2027 for 500 million and 600 million. And then there's probably 100 million more. That's not that they didn't note in this um filing here but um, the interest rate on these were 5.625 and 5.5 percent so the interest rate was not very high compared relatively speaking because the company likely borrowed this money before it and got into trouble remember the company really got into trouble in 2022 when used car prices stopped going up and it had a bulk of inventory it had paid higher prices for and so its gross profit fell and it caused major disruption to the business. So this pushes these payments out into further and it gives the company more time to get itself under better footing so that it can then pay these back in full. But what's interesting I've highlighted here in the yellow is these this senior unsecured note for 3.3 billion dollars that's due in the year 2030 this i feel like should be the next target for management to get this refinanced as soon as possible because they're paying a 10.25 percent interest on this so every year this this single loan here is costing carvana 300 more than 327 million dollars in interest expense more than 327 per year, 327 million per year in interest expense. So in my opinion, this should be on, and the way management is going, I feel like this is on their list. As soon as they have the ability to, I think they can target this and refinance this. And if they're in a better position, they can refinance this at a lower rate than when they, than the position they were in when they entered into this agreement. So a nice step forward for Carvana in refinancing this debt that was coming due in the next uh, few years, giving itself more time to get itself back on track and be able to um, pay these back without an issue. But this isn't the primary reason. I don't think that the stock price was up by almost 30% uh, because they announced earnings they also announced a stock sale but this was this was a contributing factor to be sure although I would not say that this was the entire factor causing the stock price to explode higher the way it did all right but that's all I've got for this video thank you so much for watching 
I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.